welcome back to Pearl Mister Channel. In this video, we will provide a detailed explanation and simulation demonstration of the working logic of output priority mode and charging priority mode. Its operating mode is applicable to several sound smart models, and we hope it helps you better understand and select the appropriate mode's features. First, let's discuss the output power priority mode. This mode determines the priority order and switching conditions for supplying power to loads from three sources: solar energy, battery power, and grid power. AC1ST indicates grid priority when the grid power is available. It supplies load. The fluctuation in photovoltaic input conditions do not affect the continuity of grid power as the output source. Only when grid power is unavailable will the system switch to supply power from solar energy and battery inverters. This mode essentially turns the entire photovoltaic system into a backup UPS. Making it suitable for area this unstable power supply. BD1 ST indicates battery priority. When sunlight is sufficient, solar energy will be used to power the loads while charging the battery. If solar radiation weakens and the photovoltaic voltage decreases to a level insufficient to support all connected loads, the battery power will be activated as a supplementary source. Ensuring stable operation of the loads. In this mode, the grid power is enabled only when battery voltage falls below a defined low voltage threshold, which can be configured in setting item 4 based on battery parameters and actual application scenarios. To demonstrate the moment battery voltage reaches the low voltage threshold, we will set item 4 to closely match the current battery voltage of 53.6 volt. As you can see, when the battery voltage drops below the 53.6 volt, the inverter automatically switches the discharge power priority to grid power. When the battery voltage rises above the recovery threshold defined in setting item 5, the output power will switch back to battery power. Currently, under sufficient solar conditions, priority is given to using solar energy to supply the load. This efficiently switches from utility power bypass to inverter load supply. When solar energy is abundant, the load is supplied by the photovoltaic inverter. When solar energy is insufficient, the battery power inverter compensates for the load. In practice, it is not advisable to set items 4 and 5 too closely, as this could cause frequent switching, affecting the stability of loads operation. Let's briefly demonstrate the status of our 5 wabo during the power switch. As you can see, when the power source switches from battery to grid, the load experiences almost no disruption from the power switch. When the solar power is unavailable, the battery can serve as the solar output power source for the load. This mode maximizes the use of battery power while minimizes grid power usage, making it suitable for areas with stable grid power or high electricity rates. PB1ST indicates photovoltaic priority. When solar energy is abundant, the inverter's output power priority operates similarly to BD1ST mode. Where solar energy powers the loads while charging the battery, when the lighting conditions worsen and the photovoltaic input voltage drops to a level that cannot support all connected loads, the inverter will activate the battery power as a supplement to supply the loads. When solar input falls below a detectable range for the inverter, solar energy becomes unavailable and the output power will switch directly to grid power, even if the battery is sufficiently charged. Additionally, Grid power will be used to charge the battery. This is a key distinction between the photovoltaic priority mode and the battery priority mode. In battery priority mode, when solar energy is unavailable, the output power will switch to battery power, and only when the battery voltage drops below the low voltage alarm threshold or the value set in setting 4 will it switch to grid power. 
In contrast, in photovoltaic priority mode, when solar energy is unavailable, the upper power will switch to grid power. In this mode, battery power only supplies the load when both solar and grid power are unavailable. This mode prioritizes using solar energy, maximizing the use of clean energy and being suitable for regions with favorable sunlight conditions. Having covered the configuration of output priority modes in setting item 1, let's move on to the discussed charging priority modes in setting item 6. This mode determines the priority order for charging the battery using solar energy and grid power. Hybrid mode allows solar energy and grid power to charge the battery simultaneously. This mode offers diverse charging source and high charging efficiency, maximizing solar energy use while ensuring that battery charging needs are met even in low sunlight conditions, providing sufficient backup power. AC1ST mode prioritizes grid power for charging the battery. Enabling solar energy only when grid power is unavailable. This mode is suitable for areas with low electricity price or unstable grid power. Prioritize low cost grid electricity for charging the battery if grid power is interrupted or unavailable for other reasons. Solar energy will continue charging the battery. PV1 ST mode prioritizes using solar energy for charging the battery. Activating grid power only when solar energy is unavailable. This mode is ideal for areas with high electricity rates and abundant sunlight, maximizing solar energy use and reduce reliance on grid power for battery charging. Only PV mode uses only solar energy to charge the battery, even if solar energy is unavailable and grid power does not participate in charging. This mode avoids using grid power for charging the battery, requiring favorable sunlight conditions to ensure battery energy security. That concludes the working logic of alpha priority modes and charging priority modes. We hope this information is helpful. If you need to confirm the applicable models for this working logic or have any other questions, please leave us a comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video, where we will discuss time slot charging and discharging logic.